Welcome back. Planting seeds and digging deep into the past. That's what one plant expert and amateur genealogist in the upstate has been doing for nearly 50 years. And it, it, it's revealed an incredible family connection dating back over two centuries. This is For Our History. A plant geek, and I'm proud of it, card carrying. Bleeding green. Bleeding green. Barbara Smith, a longtime horticulturalist at Clemson Extension, has deep roots in farming and gardening. We've got peppers here, and then eggplants, and then coarse potatoes. In 1976, Barbara and her husband decided to dig in right here in the Pendleton countryside, here at their beautiful and very fragrant Crooked Trail Farm. Whoa. Right. <laughs> He has some cows, he does the vegetable gardening, and then of course this is my domain uh, with the plants and all. Here, you're surrounded by thousands of plants with names like Grancy Graybeard, Athens Sweet Shrub, Annabelle Hydrangeas, and embracing all of them is Mother Maple. And it's been plants from day one for Barbara. Plants growing and reaching back in time, connecting a single family over centuries. I have plants in this garden that belong to my grandmother, to my great-grandmother, to my great-great-grandmother that I've collected from the ruins of their own garden. She calls it floral genealogy, passing down plants like precious heirlooms. But while digging further into her family's history, Barbara unearthed an amazing find. Martha Daniel Logan, the colonist and trailblazing gardener and botanist from Charlestown, South Carolina, is her seventh great-grandmother. One generation led to the next and led to the next, and this truthfully has only happened within the last three or four years. So it's just like a door breaking open. Breaking new ground in 1757, Martha wrote the gardener's calendar to help colonists through the planting seasons. It was amazing to me that she writes this gardener's calendar in the 1750s, the first colonial American to do that, but the first woman, and I'm going, yes. Lettuce, spinach, and all the kinds of salading may be planted to use all the summer, but they must be frequently watered and shaded from the sun. In May, this month is chiefly for weeding and watering. One of the things that was said about Martha Daniel, that her garden is her delight, and that really struck home to me because my garden is my delight. Two women connected by more than two centuries of strong South Carolina roots. And if there ever was a real life family tree, it may just be Mother Maple, planted right here at Crooked Trail Farm, where time moves just slow enough to stop and smell the nearest flower and dig up the past. Okay, and thank you to the historic Brattonsville Farm and the South Carolina Historical Society for their help in that report. Uh, but get this, another distant relative of Barbara's in Greenwood, South Carolina, currently has in their possession a snuff box that was given to their family by none other than George Washington when he traveled through South Carolina in 1791. But that story, we'll have to wait for another time.